Sjogren's syndrome is a chronic autoimmune inflammatory disease in which moisture-producing glands are damaged, leading to a wide array of symptoms and complications affecting any organ or body system. Sjogren's affects an estimated 4 million Americans. In this program, you will meet people who live with Sjogren's, as well as two doctors whose primary focus is working with Sjogren's patients. With their help, you will learn about the symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment, as well as self-help tips to manage symptoms and other effects of this chronic illness. Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune um, inflammatory disorder of really unknown etiology that can affect the um, exocrine glands, such as the eyes, mouth, other glands, systemic organs and uh, blood vessels, and it can give rise to systemic features such as fatigue, aches and pains in joints and muscles, sleeping abnormalities, cognitive impairment, and depression. Sjogren's syndrome is caused um, by an unknown number of factors, including uh, genetics, environment, and uh, hormonal influences, etc. The immune system normally functions to defend the body against infections caused by bacteria, viruses, and other invading microbes. An autoimmune disease is one in which the body mistakenly attacks its own protective system, targeting cells, tissues, organs, and other systems in the body. Inflammation is the body's basic response to injury, irritation, or infection, usually recognized by pain, redness, warmth, and swelling. As a chronic or ongoing autoimmune inflammatory disease, Sjogren's syndrome is systemic and may also affect multiple parts of the body. For example, when the tear-secreting glands of the eyes are affected by Sjogren's, the quantity and quality of tears are changed, resulting in chronic dry eye. Without normal healthy tears, you may experience uncomfortable symptoms. Sjogren's can also severely impact a person's salivary glands, thus decreasing the quantity and quality of saliva a person produces each day, leading to mild or severe dry mouth. Lack of quality saliva can lead to additional complications, including increased dental caries, mouth sores, and gastrointestinal issues. Sjogren's syndrome is one of the disorders that occurs most frequently in women with a ratio of anywhere exceeding nine to one, women to men. Having said that, we postulate that hormonal changes with age may be important, but we also know that young children, teenagers, young adults, as well as the traditionally observed postmenopausal women develop Sjogren's syndrome. And it's well recognized that men also can develop Sjogren's, and it is definitely under-recognized in men. And is there anything that you have done in your life, in your health care, that precipitates or predisposes one to have Sjogren's? The answer is a resounding no. A patient, particularly newly di diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome, should be under the follow-up of a skilled and knowledgeable physician who can be a partner to that patient, work along with them, and make sure that none of the potential complications that can occur in Sjogren's uh, do or will occur.